So the next problem here is our ISP provided us an address of 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And the requirement here is to divide this network into 500 additional subnets. Wow, that's a lot. So, but we do have a much bigger IP space to work with here. Our subnet mask that our ISP gave us is slash 16 this time. So we have more bits in our host portion to work with. Let's check that out. So let's take a look and break this address into its binary version. So we have our network address written on the top here in binary with all zeros in our host portion. Our broadcast address, which is the last range of the address in an IP network, is all ones in our host portion. So we have 10 0, 0, 0 through 10 0, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5. We have 16 bits available to modify. Now that's a lot more than the 8 bits we had before. Once we have 16 bits, we now have this 8-bit boundary in the middle of our network. And this ends up making things a little goofy. So this is where we have to start really paying attention to the binary, making sure that we have our addresses correct, because you can really make some mistakes if you try to take shortcuts. So my mantra to this is practice, 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 practice. So let's dive into solving the problem. What we want to know is how many bits do we need to borrow for 500 networks? We look up in our chart here under networks, we find 256 is too few, 512 is too many, but meets our requirements. We need to borrow nine additional bits to put into our host portion. So here we go, here's the problem setup. So we found out how many bits we needed to borrow. We write down our given information, we draw a line between our given network portion and given host portion. Then we create a new mask by taking our given mask and adding the number of bits we need to borrow to it, which in this case is 9 bits to get 500 networks. So here we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 bits to the subnet mask. And then we draw a line between our new network portion and host portion. Now we have 9 bits in between our given mask and our calculated mask that we can use for network portion of our address. So let's calculate network number zero now. Network number zero is always going to be zero in our borrowed bits. So we put all zeros there. Zeros in the host portion for the network address. Here I asked you to calculate network number 10. Instead of counting up 500 networks, which will take you an eon, what we're going to do here is just pick several different networks that we're going to calculate to see if you understand what you're doing. So here what I want you to do is calculate network number 10. And what you're going to do there is you're going to convert 10 into binary, and then you're going to fill it into these 9 bits. You must ignore the 8-bit boundaries when we're doing this. Ignore them when we're working in decimal. Those 8-bit boundaries are only used to convert the address from binary back to decimal. So we know where our borrowed bits section are here, and we want to write 10 in here. So if you need to, pause the video right now, figure out what network 10 is, write it down, and then start it up again. So. To calculate network 10, we're converting 10 into binary and we're putting it into our borrowed bit section. 1010 is 10 in binary. The zeros before it here are just, they're called leading zeros. They don't change the value of the number when we have those 9 bits out of the IP address when we're calculating what 10 is in binary, right? We're taking those 9 bits pulling it out of the IP address, figuring out how to write 10 in binary in those 9 bits, and then putting it back into the address. So there's network number 10. 1010 here. And notice that this 8-bit boundary here between our two octets, that exists, but we ignore it. 1010 goes right over the top of it. We just ignore it. All right, let's calculate number Network number 151 now. You're probably going to need some of that after you work on these subnetting exercises for a while. So, calculate network number 151. Let's see what you get. So, 
network number 151. We take those nine bits out of the IP address, find out how to write 151 in them, which is 01001011. It's 151 in binary. We then put that back into the IP address, put all zeros in our host portion to get our network address. There's network 151. And notice once again now that 151 still crosses that 8-bit boundary. And we don't care. It's supposed to. That 8-bit boundary is only there to convert from binary to decimal. That is all. Okay, let's get the next one. Network number 300. So network number 300, we have to go beyond 8 bits actually to get 300 written. So to write 300, we need 9 bits to do that. So we pull out those 9 bits, convert 300 to binary, write it in those bits, and then put it back in the address. 1001-01100 is 300 in binary. It's right here. All zeros in my host portion is a network address. The last network I want you to calculate here is network number 401. So pause the video, do your calcs, and we can restart it. Network 401 is in binary in nine bits one one zero zero one zero 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 one so we have those nine bits which is equivalent to 300 we write that out in those nine bits put all zeros in the last seven bits as that's our host portion and we get our network address now let's take a look now and convert this back to decimal so while you're doing that if you need to pause the video go ahead and do that so we're going to convert these back to decimal and we're going to do it in eight bit sections. So every eight bits now, regardless of where the network and host portion are, we are going to convert those eight bits back to decimal. And here we go. Every eight bits for network 10, we have 10.0.5.0 slash 25. Network 151, 10.0.75.128 slash 25. Wow, that's weird. Isn't it? We have 75.128 here and this one is 5.0 so sometimes our network address with this mask is going to have .0 other times it's going to be .128 in the last octet very bizarre although when you look at the binary the binary math works out perfectly so with the last seven bits our host portion and the only time we have a network address is when there's all zeros in the host portion all right, network 300, 10.0.150.0 slash 25. Network 401, 10.0.200.128 slash 25. Let's go into problem number three. 